Why did Ryan Garcia apologize to Devin Haney during the New York City press conference? The first press conference for the Ryan Garcia vs Devin Haney fight was held in New York City. And in this video, we'll do a quick recap of what went down and also discuss why Ryan Garcia had to apologize to Devin Haney. Hey everybody, welcome back to Quick Talk. Right from the beginning, the two fighters were very civilized and for the most part, the interaction was not as intense as you would imagine. Both fighters had a very chill and relaxed vibe, which was in contrast to the characters you normally would expect them to be, especially if you follow them on social media. Throughout the event, both Garcia and Haney spoke of how they were going to be victorious for their upcoming fight. There was a moment of brief sincerity somewhere in the middle of the event, where Ryan Garcia broke the character he's expected to play and genuinely apologized to Haney regarding a statement where Haney felt his religion was disrespected. This was after Haney openly admitted that the friendly competition turned personal when Garcia made a comment regarding his religion and that for him, it was a cheap shot and was below the belt. Now, why did I choose this moment as the highlight or theme of this video? After all, all the other content creators that are covering this press conference are talking about how Ryan agreed to a certain bet that may result in his retirement. Well, it's simply because for a very brief moment, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney showed humanity. Trash talking and animosity was set aside. It is somewhat rare to be genuinely human and respectful at these events simply because kindness is not the thing that is going to excite people, especially if you're promoting something that involves knocking someone down. Continuing on with the event, for the most part, Bill Haney did all the talking for Devin, all while Ryan sat in his throne-inspired chair. Also, side note, his entrance was very theatrical for the lack of better term. There was a moment during the event where Ryan Garcia's dad, Henry Garcia, and Devin's dad, Bill Haney, briefly took the attention away from their sons and started arguing. To be honest, the whole my dad can beat your dad segment of the press conference was not really needed in my own opinion. As this was happening when both of their grown-up sons were also exchanging elementary school insults. For most of the event, Devin Haney doubled down on how he'll secure a victory over Garcia. However, things became more interesting when both Bill and Devin Haney challenged Ryan Garcia to retire if he gets knocked out in the first round, in which Ryan Garcia confidently responded with a handshake. The final face-off between the two was very familiar and was very similar to what we previously saw in Las Vegas, with this being a more toned-down version. At the end of the day, regardless of what critics may have thought about the press conference, the following things are guaranteed. Firstly, this fight is expected to generate big sales. And based on crowd reaction after the event, the hype surrounding this upcoming fight is definitely not going away and will only get bigger as we move closer to fight night. Secondly, their microphone skills may be questionable and at times may feel like a low-budget wrestling promo, but that doesn't necessarily translate to their performance inside the ring. These two are both very skilled fighters and two of the biggest names in the sport. They are not just fighting for a title but also for legacy and ultimately to be the next face for the sport of boxing. What about you? What are your thoughts about the press conference? I'm genuinely interested since most fans had mixed feelings about it. Let me know in the comments section. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more quick talks.